Hey, what's going on guys? It's G-Rad here. And today I want to talk to you about using Addictive Drums 2 in Reaper. Now, to use this, originally I was going to use a bunch of Golden Cursor locations for I have about 25 or 30 of them mapped out. But instead, this morning when I woke up, I got a message in my inbox that made me very excited. And that was that Sibiac has been adapted to work with Reaper, and in this case more specifically for Addictive Drums 2. So I figured I would do this video as kind of a testing and demonstration video at the same time. Now for those of you who do not know, Sibiac is short for Single Image Blob Interface Accessible Controller, which is a NVDA, Non-Visual Desktop Access, add-on that allows plugins to be accessible originally in Sonar X3 Producers Edition, which was the digital audio workstation I was using prior to switching to Reaper. But since it would not work with Reaper originally, I had to do a bunch of alternative workarounds. And because of it, I actually learned about some different software and stuff in the process. But this is now working with AD2, and I am excited about that because now I have full control of my setup again, and I'm really pleased about that one. Um, so to um, basically get started, I have a song already opened up here. And I'm going to play the drum track for you real quick. Now this is using the Studio Rock Contemporary Rock preset. Now, it's worth noting that before I go into actually Stop. getting into the details of how this whole thing's set up, it uses OCR internally, but not the Windows 10 OCR, which stands for Optical Character Recognition. However, it will give you enough of a understanding quite a bit of a good understanding rather as to what is going on so sometimes 18s can look like 19s or b's or something like that so just you know basically typical ocr trying to figure it out so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to open up the edit, edit effects menu and get to addictive drums too and to do this for me just f fx track one drums dialogues here List one, VSTI, Addictive Drums 2. I'm going to go to the audio. Addictive Drums 2. Now, in order for CBAC to work, I have to float the drum window. So to do that, I will open up the context menu and push W. Context menu, VSTI. And then I'm going to tab down until I find the chat box. Combo bo plus button, perm button, 18 out button, UI button, checkbox check. Now, when I find the chat box, if I hit the right arrow, I should hear Addictive Drums. Addictive Drums. Choose Preset Studio Rock Contemporary Rock. And now I can actually browse through the presets. And if I want to hear them, I can tab over to the play button. Play, off, play, off. Play, off. And this window here is, I'm actually, if I recall correctly, I'm on the edit window. Save preset. Open menu help. Tab views edit. Yes, I'm on the edit window. So I'm going to go to the kit window, which is actually the first of the three windows. Kit. And here, I will actually be able to control what output my drums go to so I can actually switch each individual output set kick output and to switch to them all I'm using the tab key so this kick set snare output snare set hi hat output set tom one output set tom two output set tom three output set tom four output set flexi one output set flexi two output set flexi three output set overhead output set room output set bus output and each option has somebody's the bus since it's not doing anything I don't think you know hit enter to select bus it. output to master arrow down separate out prefader Separate out prefader plus master. Separate out post fader. Separate out post fader plus master. But I'm not going to choose any of those. So I'm just going to hit escape and close that menu. And now, right after the output menus, I have the actual drums. Kick 22x18. Tama Star Classic. And when I hit enter, I can actually hear the sample of the kick. And Snare 14x5.5. Tama Star Classic. And if I want to change it, I use the up and down arrows. 14x55. Longo Solid Fly Cherry. 14x5.5. DW Cravado. You can play hit space bar and play the song. That's nice. That still works in this window. <laughs> I kind of like that snare. 14x5.5. Tama Star Class. Yeah, it's the Tama Star Classic traditional. I'm going to actually close this Organic and go further into the song. Marker, bar 30, main rip slap, play. Stop. Okay, so let me bring the window back FX, up. Track JS, VST, edit, edit, combo, 
plus button, from button, 18 out, UI button, checkbox, unknown. Add button. See, I need to see. That's what happens if you don't float the window. Remove button. List one list. Edit multi list. Context. VST. Comp. 18. UI. Checkbox check. Addictive drums. There we go. Choose preset studio. Rock, play, set, open, tap, set kick. Set, set high. Set, set, set overhead output. Set room output. Set bus output. Kick 22x18. Tamas Star Classic. Snare 14x5.5. Tamas Star Classic. 14x5.5. DW Cravado. Fourteen X five Zildian alloy and eight C fourteen X five Trump fourteen X five Sonar Designer. That actually sounds pretty good too. Fourteen X five Ludwig Superphonic four hundred fourteen X five. Ludwig Superphonic 400. 14x5. Ludwig Superphonic 400 and 2. 14x5. Ludwig Acrolyte 1988. 14x5. Ludwig Acrolyte. 14x5. Gritz Hammered. 14x5. DW Collector Series. 22 Sounds pretty good too. Kick 22x20. 22x19. Port Pie Custom. 20. There's a DW kick. 22x18. Tamastar Classic. 22x20. DW Collectors Plus Woofer. 22x18. Tamastar Classic. 22x19. Port Pie Custom. 22x18. Ludwig 22x19 DW Collector Series Twenty two X18 22 X20 DW Collector Twenty two X18 Tamas Star Classic And I can do this for all the drums near fourteen X I had fourteen 13 Zildian K. 14 Pace Dark Crisp. 14 Sabian AAX Studio Hats. 14 Sabian HHX Group Hats. Yeah, I'm, uh, Tom 110X8. Tom 2. Tom 3. Ride 1. Tom 418X18. Tamas. Ride 122. Pace 3000. 22 Zildian K. 22 Zildian Ping Hot. 24 Ives in Selection Dark. 22, 22 Zildian. 22 Pace 3000. 21 Sabian Signature Hot. 22 Pace 3000. Ride 2 Empty. 20 Sabian HHX Manhattan Jazz. <laughs> empty. Flexi 1, Cow Blue Flock Ridge Hider. Cow Bell P Tribell. Cow Main L Small Black. <laughs> okay, I can do this all day, seriously. So let's get moving. Um, so yeah, I can do that with all these. Cow belt. Flexi 2 empty. Empty. Flexi 3 empty. Empty. Symbol 1 crash 17. And there's my crash symbols. Symbol 2 crash 20. Sabian HH extreme. Symbol 3 crash 18. Sabian HH thin. Symbol 4 splash 10. Sabian AAX. Symbol 5 splash 12. Sabian HHX. Symbol 6 China 20. Zildian low. Choose preset studio rock contemporary rock star. And I'm back to the presets. Now the presets is neat because I'm not saving this because it's gonna mess with my project, but that's okay. Um, this is for demonstration purposes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the preset by usually the up and I believe it's just the left and right arrows. No, up and down arrows can switch to the presets. Studio rock deep base west coast. Studio rock deep smart. Studio Hawk Estate. So what if I say, as you heard there is, I'm hearing Studio Rock. Now here's what's neat. With this setup, I can actually go in and select the preset by keywords by hitting enter. Dialog preset browser. 
Filter by name empty. And if I hear when I hear filter by name, I can type metal. Okay. Edit. Blank. Now I hit enter, then I'll type metal. Then I'll hit PSTI, enter again. Addictive drums two. XL and audio. Eighteen out. Track one drums two slash two dialogue. Dialogue preset browser. Filter by name metal. Choose preset studio rock distinct. Fairfax no. Vol one while you know metal. And then there's the uh, metal presets. Fairfax Vol one while you know metal. Metal all in. Metal arena metal. Now we got a text message. Metal balance and open. Metal blaster. Metal blaster metal. Metal blaster. Metal propulsi. Yeah, yeah. Metal crispy clean. So far, so good. Metal deadly dawn. Metal destroy. Metal dry metal. Metal extreme. So yeah, I can change the kits now, been by using the prefet pre selection, and I can also set a startup. I can actually set it as my startup kit too. So that's always a nice thing to know too, because I can go in and change it, and then set that as my startup kit. And every time I load Addicted Drums two, the setup is the startup is already set. So I'm just gonna stick with this kit for now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm okay. gonna hit the OK and hit Enter. Choose preset meta extreme. Now. I'm always on play, this preset, off. so when I hit the play, play I can... Play, Play, off. Okay. Play. Play, <laughs> off. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the tabs. Save preset. And I'll save the preset, which I'm not doing right now, but when I do... Dialog save preset. Name Metal Extreme. Okay, disabled. See, I can't, it won't let me actually overwrite a pre-existing preset, but I can create my own and now save them and even make it better for the experience of using Addicted Drums because now that I can change and edit my drums and the outputs they go to, I can actually make the presets and save them. So let's move on to the next big step, the edit button. Cancel. So I'm going to cancel. i got to remember to hit the enter key and not the space bar. <laughs> save preset. Okay. Open menu help. And here's where, this is another thing that I wanted to bring up real quick. This is the menu. Now, when I bring it up. Menu health, no selection. You know, I have no selection, but when I down arrow one. Map window. I can come up to the MIDI mapping window. Dialog map window. Preset TD3. Set as default. Okay. Cancel. MIDI and key 52 vel, 127. MIDI out symbol 2. Hi-hat CC reverse, on. Learn hi-hat CC. Tab kit symbol 3. Learn symbol three. Tab kit symbol three. Symbol four. See when I go to the where is this tab kit symbol? I can switch it out. Symbol, symbol one. Flexi three. Flexi two. Flexi one. Hi hat. Snare. Kick. Ride two. And then there's a learn button. Learn ride two tip M. Learn ride two bell M. Learn ride two shaft M. Learn ride two choke M. Learn ride two cubic centimeters P O S snap less greater T P. Learn ride C C. Dialog map window. And this is for all the drums. I can go in and do all the learning and everything. So in the learn button, you just simply hit enter and you go and attack the drum on your electronic kit, and it will learn to that specific MIDI note. Learn right, learn right, learn, learn right, learn right to tip Shift tapping, shift tabbing, shift tabbing. Tap kit right to. Tom two. Let's go to the snare. Symbol four. Symbol, symbol six. Tom one. Symbol one. Flexi three. Hi hat. Snare. The snare. snare's got the most to learn, I think. It's got snare center, snare rim shot, snare edge, snare shallow rim slot, et cetera, et cetera. So let's see what we... Learn snare rim shot. Learn snare open HLT. 
Learn snare shallow rickshot. Learn snare side saint ik. Learn snare shallow hlt. Learn snare rmc ik. Learn sticks. Learn snare rm shot dbl. Learn snare open hlt dbl. Learn snare ccpos 0p less greater chat. Learn snare ccpos close br. Learn closed soft tap br. Learn sweep, short one. Dialog map window. And as you can see, there's a lot of options to learn there. So that's kind of nice to know that all these are now open to you. So you have full control of actually training Addictive Drums 2 to work with your specific drum module. In my case, this is a Roland TD-50. But as you saw, TD3. I have the TD-30 preset because the TD-50 is not available. So I hit enter. Menu preset Roland. Selected. Sub. Roland. Selected. Me Roland. Selected. Mega drum submenu. GM. GM general MIDI. LSLs submenu. Alesis. So see what they no got selection. on the DM. DM10. DMB. DM7. DMB. See that DMB and DMB. You see, it's, that's what I was talking about earlier. It's not always going to be accurate without what it's going to be called. DMB. 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 DM7. Okay, so that was the last one on the list. Okay. DMB. DM10. So that previous DMB is going to probably be DM6, and the last one is DM9, but there's DM10. Um, it doesn't have to strike pro or anything like that yet. DM. -hood. DM. -hood. So what I'm going to do is. Submenu. G. Mega drum. Roland. TD30. So TD4 basic. TD so. Selected. So I'm not going to change this, though, so I'm going to leave it be. Reset TD3. And now that I'm through with the map window, I'm going to shift tab. Dialog map window. Learn sweep. Learn sweep. Learn sweep. Dialog map window. I can actually just hit Open escape. Menu. And then continue on my journey to the edit button. Tab views kit. See, there's the views tab. That's the one I was talking about. See, this kit. Edit. Edit. FX. And FX. Which FX 1 and 2 can just simply be turned on and off at this point. That's really all there is to it, which... Well, the neat thing about this is you're not limited to the effects on here. You can actually take these effects and go ahead and turn everything off on the specific drum you're working on and then route the drum now to your own strip on your DAW. And in this case, in Reaper, you can route your drum to its own channel. And the best part about that is then you can use your outboard effects freely. In my case, I do have a lot of stuff from Waves. I love their Diamond series. <laughs> Just saying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the edit kit. Edit, edit menu. Now here's where you can edit the drums specifically, including different variables and parameters. A lot of these parameters will show up in the effects parameters list. So a lot of it you won't have to worry about here, but there's a lot of detailed stuff here that does not show up in the parameters list. Tab kit snare. So I'm working on the snare. Let's work on the kick. Kick. So I'm going to arrow up to kick. 22x18. And when you hear the name of the kick, you can hit enter. And hear this drum. Then it is down arrow. 22x18. 22x18. Ludwig. So. All right, cool. So let's move on. Kit piece controls enabled. So I got kit piece controls enabled. If I disable this, kit piece controls disabled. By hitting enter, I can tab. Tab channels master. Channels. This is now. This is the channels mass. This is the channels primary effects sense. enabled. Tab chat sense enabled. Inserts enabled. Sense enabled. Tab channels master. Now I'm gonna sh switch. Kick sense disabled. Tab chat master sense enabled. So when I choose the kick, if I go to the master tab on the kicks, I haven't fully figured out how that works. I don't know if that means like I turn on the channels to the kick, it turns it onto the kick instead of the master. However, in all seriousness, that is all in the testing process, as I've mentioned. Tab channels master. So let's kit piece controls disabled. So let's turn let's turn back on the kit piece controls now. Kit piece controls enabled. Let's see if that makes a difference. Kit piece control. kit piece controls enabled. Anyway, so I got the key piece controls enabled. Now I'm going to tab, and it's going to change the stuff that comes up now. Response enabled. Response. Response volume 100%. 100% response volume. I haven't. 
80%. Down 73%. Up. 80%, 87, 93, 100%. All right, let's move on. Response filter, 0%. There's no response filter, so I'm not going to mess with that. Alternate samples, disabled. Alternate samples, disabled. Range sample, 15%, 100%. Alternate samples, disabled. I don't know what this actually is. I guess this, I don't know, how, I don't know what that means, actually, so I'm not even going to try to mess with it. Range sample, 15%, 100%. 19%, 100%, 15%, 100%, 15, 100%, 15%, 97%, 15%, 100%. Okay, to mess with that, the first direction can be changed by the use of the left and right arrows, and the second option can be changed with the up and down arrows. I don't know what that is, so I'm assuming it's um, filtering, but we'll see. Pitch, disabled. Pitch, I can change the pitch now. Pitch, enabled. Main pitch minus 0 0.42 ST. So, yeah, watch. 12.0 B.40 ST minus 7.20 ST Now I can get that really deep kick 42.00 ST B.80 ST B.00 B.40 ST minus 5.80 ST minus 4.80 ST Minus 4.00 ST. Anyways, close enough. <laughs> Minus 5.80 ST. Minus 4.80 ST. Uh, let's move on. Pitch enabled. Pitch disabled. I just turned it off. Pitch enabled. Back on. Pitch disabled. Group pitch envelope disabled. Group pitch envelope. I don't know what that actually is. So. Pitch group pitch envelope. Oh, it's group disabled. pitch. En so pitch enable. envelope enabled. Start 0.0, .0 ST. Hold 0.0, .0 milliseconds. Okay, so this is where um, the different envelopes can be applied for the pitch and release 0.0. .0 mil hold start 0.0, .0 ST. Group pitch envelope. Pitch envelope. Volume envelope. In group pitch. Pitch. En start 0.0, .0 ST. Hold 0.0, .0 milliseconds. Release 0.0, .0 milliseconds. Bar pitch envelope velocity 0%. Volume envelope enabled. Bar volume envelope velocity 0%. Attack 0.0, .0 milliseconds. Decay 17.5 milliseconds. Sustain level minus 4.59 dB. Sustain time 488 milliseconds. Release 3.30 S. Cut. Disabled. Tab channels master. And then there's Sense. these. Enabled. Inserts. Enabled. Compression and distortion. Enabled. EQ. Enabled. Tape and shape. Enabled. So turn the EQ, EQ off. Enabled. EQ. Disabled. EQ. Enabled. EQ disabled. EQ enabled. Compression and distortion enabled. Compression and distortion disabled. Compression and distortion enabled. So you can hear the compression and distortion in that one. Compression and distortion disabled. Compression inserts enabled. Inserts disabled. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'll turn that back inserts, on. Enabled. Compression EQ. EQ disabled. Com com insert inserts. There's your completely dry kit. Inserts enabled. Compression and distort. Compression and distortion enabled. EQ EQ enabled. Tape and shape. EQ compression inserts sense enabled. Tab channels mask. Kick sense disabled. Inserts enabled. Noise disabled. Inserts enabled. Inserts disabled. Inserts enabled. Noise disabled. Compression and distortion enabled. Compression and distortion disabled. Compression EQ enabled. EQ disabled. There's your un-EQ kick drum. Okay, I see how that's working enabled. now. Cool. All right, well, you are getting the idea of all this. Sense disabled. Sense enabled. Inserts enabled. Noise disabled. Noise enabled. Noise disabled. All right. Compression EQ. Tape and shape. Choose preset meta extreme. Metal pain metal. Meta extreme. You just give it a reset. Play. Off. Save preset. Open menu help. Tab view edit. FX. Now here's the effects. FX1. Enable. FX1. 
disabled. FX2, FX2, disabled. I don't know what this FX1. is. This is FX1. not really doing much of anything right now. FX2, enabled. Choose preset medic stream. But I did want to show you that. Now that is Addicted Drums 2 in Reaper with Sibiac now using non-visual desktop access. And as you can see, you have so much more control of your kit. And there are some things that I do want to mention that if anything glitches for me, I do need to report that. But um, if all goes well, hopefully this will be available to the general public very soon. Play. Save. Pre open menu help. Tab. Use FX. So I'm going to go back to the edit. edit. Tab. Kit kick. So I'm going to kick. Snare. Hi-hat. Flexi one. Trick kicks eight snares. Metal. Tab kit flexi one. Flexi two. See, so that's the second kick drum. That's why I was... Trick kick. Yikes. Tab kit fle flexi three. Trick snare two. Tab kit flexi... Kick. Snare. Cool deal. So there you go. That is tab kit Addictor snare. Drums too. Tab use edit for kit set kick output. Tab view open menu help. Save preset. Play. Choose preset meta extreme. Symbol six crash seventeen. Symbol. That is Addictor Flexi Drums three, two, two for Flexi two. Excuse me. I'm trying to listen to my screen reader. <laughs> Anyways, that is Addictor Drums two for Reaper, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys soon.